Ladies and gentlemen, excellencies, uh, you agree with me that Dr. Chambers deserves another round of applause. I think he's been a very good um, propagandist for the progressive movement in Nigeria and West Africa. But the secret is that he's been one of us even when he was a student in the United States. And when you hear Mudia branch in Ghana or in Mauritius or in this place of fighting for liberation of uh, Guinea-Bissau and Angola, these were some of the four soldiers. And we're very glad that he has grown this big. <laughs> God bless. Now, Madam President has an important engagement but you see, the program should have started at 10 o'clock. Dr. Chambers was trying to solve a problem in Guinea. He had to jump out of that meeting to fly here. That's why we started late this morning. So Madam President has to leave now. But we like for Dr. Sawyer to say a few words. Dr. Chambers, our special guest and good friend. Our other presenter, Professor Dr. Adele Kenadu. Properly stand, let the people know. Your Excellency, the Commissioner for Political Affairs of Equas, and the so good We also have the Commissioner for Gender, I suppose. And Your Excellency, please. And let alone uh, our own ECOWAS uh, special representative, <laughs> and I'm sure there are others from the diplomatic community, the Ghanaian ambassador, and uh, am I seeing uh, other diplomats around here? Uh, I don't even want to get into our own people, the senators. Um, the governor of a bank, uh, etc. <laughs> Thank you. As the president uh, uh, leaves, I just wanted to, to say a word of thank you to her and to everybody because this comment would have been made at the end of, uh, of the day. So let me go through it very quickly. The celebration of my 70th birthday has been a marathon for me and for others. For those who have not been following, let me let you know that my birthday was on June 15. We began celebrations with a Thanksgiving service at the St. Stephen's Episcopal Church, where we launched an adult literacy program that Sunday. We took our invited guests by surprise acting perhaps a little bit uh, unashamedly by asking them when they were not prepared to contribute whatever they had to the project. And we raised 3,000 United States dollars for that program on that Sunday. What a blessing. <laughs> and then there was lunch at the Governor's Commission or with my colleagues and a few friends on, on Monday after having lunch the Sunday itself at our house in Cargo. We were honored that the lunch at the uh, Governor's Commission, but the presence of the Nigerian Ambassador, Her Excellency could not make it here today as she has uh, another engagement, but her able representative is, is here. Madam Your Excellency, we are happy you are here. When the Ambassador was uh, uh, making some comments at uh, the lunch at the office, Madam President, she said, and I quote, thank you for inviting me, uh, we will get together. A bit casual. But this turned out to be the diplomatic understatement of the year. Yeah. 
vehicles, a week later, we were fitted to an elaborate, sumptuous, and elegant dinner by our principal ambassador. And we were given gifts and entitled. I forgot the title, but it was one that has to do. The ambassador knows the title, but it uh, it, it it has to do with uh, someone of strength and wisdom. And so we want to thank the ambassador, the Nigerian government, for all that they've done for our country and what the honor they have bestowed on me. Thank you so much. The last, the last three weeks, Madam President, the, wave, the airwaves have been saturated with tributes, comments, questions, and diatribes about me. I appreciate them all. I've had a full I've had a full day of celebrations with my family, another full day with the Moja comrades at the house, and uh, they've been back and forth, trains of lunches and dinners with friends, sometimes multiple lunches, all in unimaginable display of affection and goodwill. My friend Dr. Tibote has written a letter to me from the White House. <laughs> <laughs> my friend Dr. Dr. Fabule, has compared me to Edward Wil Wilmot Blyden, <laughs> and a man on the radio has asked, what does Sawyer want? <laughs> why is all this hoopla? <laughs> I too have wondered why all this hoopla, but I am grateful for it. And now that I'm three scores and ten, I have an incentive to stay the course and carry on, because now I know what people will say about me when I die. <laughs> and so my dear friends, what more can I ask? I only have to, to challenge myself to give back more in partial repayment for all the blessings, goodwill, and love I have received. We who have been fortunate to receive a good education, we have a duty to serve, improve the well-being of our people through processes of development founded first and foremost in our own initiatives and build sustained systems of governance that are inclusive, participatory, and just. I thank, I thank you all from the bottom of my heart, my special friends and special guests, Dr. Chambers, our keynote today, Professor Jinagu, Our Excellency, the Commissioner Salmatu Husseini, we want to thank you for being for being here, and we want to thank all of those who have come out. Professor Jinagu, you, like Dr. Chambers, has left everything to come here, and I thank you very much. And thank you on behalf of all those students, three generations and counting, of students who have passed through your hands and are now in public service in private sector and in the academy. Thank you very much for your dedication to this. And now let me thank the committee of well-wishers, Senator and Mrs. Wiese, Justice Janet, Mr. and Mrs. Billete, Mr. Nguyen, and, uh, and all of us, and, uh, Ambassador Drew Mason, all of those who have uh, made this possible. I thank you deeply. Now to my wife, Trumpet. She, she's always been there for me. I thank you. Thank you. I'm very glad you've taken time off your schedule. You have, I know, a day of appointments that must have been done early and will go late. That you have taken some time to come here. I thank you very much. And now for. And now for the announcement. People have been wondering, what is Soya all about? There's been rumor that he will make an announcement today. <laughs> yes, I will make an announcement. And here is the announcement. I have, over the years, had a dream a dream of holding the Edwin Wilmot Blyden Chair of Public Affairs at the University of Liberia. I have not been able to achieve that dream, 
there is no such chair, we are rebuilding the university. And so this is one dream that I may not, will not be able to in fact achieve. But I want to say that I will dedicate myself in part to establishing such a chair at the university so that future scholars can have such an endowed chair to work by And so I invite you to join me to fulfill this dream for future Liberian scholars. That is the announcement. Thank you very much. Well, we, we want to thank Dr. Sawyer. I mean, we didn't expect anything more than this. In his usual modesty, he has given us a task. But the Excellency, President, Sorry has to leave now, but the program continues. Oh, all right. She, yes. Well, then, with this special wish and the president's indulgence, we are inviting Her Excellency Madam Salamatu Pozeni Suleiman who is the um, commissioner you see in the program from ECOA. Madam, please. Thank you very much. Your Excellency, Madam President, I feel really humbled that you can spare some more time to take the ECOA's message of goodwill to His Excellency, Professor Amos Sawyer. So without wasting too much of your time, Your Excellency, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, it is indeed a great pleasure for me, on behalf of the President of the ECOWAS Commission, His Excellency Kadri Desire Odrago, who is unfortunately not here today, but has sent ample goodwill towards this great man of Africa. <laughs> Professor, I want to put on record ECOWAS deep appreciation to you for the role you have played and have continued to play in the sustaining of peace and democracy in our sub-region. Dr. Chambers has already eloquently put it that you have been part and parcel of leading our electoral missions and played other roles in terms of sustaining democracy in our sub-region. I want to say that you have done that and more and now that you celebrate your 70th birthday, we at the FOS Commission and in fact all FOS community, all institutions, and on behalf of also our member states, we want to wish you a very, very happy birthday ceremony. Continue good life, in good health, in prosperity, in continued contribution to the greatness of our sub-region. I want to congratulate the government and people of Liberia for producing such a good and excellent son of Africa and for also being there for this occasion. Thank you very much, Madam President. Thank you, Your Excellency. Happy birthday. Many more happy returns. Um, Someone who will join me in singing the birthday song. <laughs> happy birthday.
Thank you very much. Thank you. 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 I'm sure when Dr. Sawyer said he was about to make an announcement, a lot of people in this room and in radio land were scared. <laughs> but, but what his announcement is what I want to speak to, because he talked about his lifetime dream of wanting to establish a chip uh, a woman Blyden chair at the uh, for public affairs at the University of Nigeria, where he would be the first person to sit in the chair, uh, but that he didn't feel that he would be able to achieve this lifetime dream. Well, my comment is we will make him achieve this lifetime. <laughs> I don't know the legal implications of establishing a chair. That's for the justice here, the justice and the lawyers to do it. I don't even know the educational requirements to establish a chair. That's so far to play in the financial implications. My seventh senator will have to head here to the budget thing to see how we can establish this chair. Let's move.